everybody, this is Praxis, and this morning I'm doing the stucco work on the wire lath that we just got up yesterday. Uh, we were able to do the whole front, uh, but then the, the bit, uh, the drill bit the, that was drilling into the concrete, it, it just started getting dull. Apparently, uh, the bit it was a Bosch drill, and it was good for about 100 holes, and then it was just getting too dull to work. But we got the whole front done, so I'm putting the stucco on right now. I decided that I wanted to do this now and not wait uh, for, you know, getting electricity here so that I could get water out of the well because I just, you know, this is just so open and like all these little nails are starting to kind of fall out with the, the flexing of the heating and cooling of everything and, you know, I just didn't want this whole area to like collapse in. I just wanted to get the thing done. So I've started on it and stucco work is two passes. First you do a pass that's kind of rough and then you do like a, another smooth pass over it or I guess you could do another rough pass to, to cover up all like the little bits of uh, you know, wire lath that stick through. I'm mixing up uh, the concrete here using this uh, mason mix. It's a type S mason mix. Uh, right over here you can see the bag behind you, the green bag. And I'm mixing into that type S mortar some Portland um, uh, cement. I, I find that just using the Type S stuff, it just, it's not as strong as I'd like it to be, so I mix in a little bit of Portland to just give it a little bit more strength, a little bit more uh, flexibility and everything. Uh, what I've done so far is I'm, I'm mixing it in half batches, or half bags, um, and for every half bag I'm putting in one decent shovel, uh, shovel full, and there's a shovel right there, uh, one decent shovel full of Portland cement in with each half bag of mason mix. So for one bag it's two, two shovelfuls of the Portland cement that I'm adding to it just to make it a little stronger. I'm doing it in half batches so that it, um, you know, it doesn't, you know, cure and set while I'm, uh, you know, working with it. It's good to kind of keep it moving and the tools I'm working with is just this little trowel that has a, a rough edge on the side so I can leave uh, this, this rough for the next pass to go over and then just, just this broken garden spade. It's not important that it's broken but it's just kind of irritating because the shovel end keeps falling off. Um, the water that I brought for it, uh, because, you know, I didn't want to wait for having water uh, from the well, is just in these big jugs. I have a bunch of these five-gallon jugs, you know, just with my regular kind of prep stuff. Um, and I've got 20, uh, 20 gallons worth. There's four, uh, three over there, one here. And uh, I'm, I'm finding, because I've never really measured how much water is used for a bag of cement before, I'm finding it's about two and a half gallons for the... Uh, you know, this one 80-pound bag of cement plus the extra shovel in there. So uh, it looks like, I mean, two and a half gallon, I, I guess I could do the math there, but it's like I get two bags of cement out of every five-gallon uh, tub I've got. So the process I've got is I've just, uh, I scoop a little bit of uh, mortar, and that was, a, that was like the worst, okay, I'm just going to start over. <laughs> um, okay, the, the process, I just take a little bit of mortar, not too much because you don't want it to be messy, falling off the side, don't want to waste, put it on there, and then I just start from the bottom, and kind of pull it up and you want to just get as much of it pushed down into the lath as you can. And then what I'll oftentimes do is put a little bit more on and then I'll do a second pass where I kind of jiggle it a little bit and the jiggling kind of uh, works the, uh, the concrete down into the, into the little gaps in there. It's kind of like quicksand if you shake yourself if you, sh you know, you're shaking and flailing around when you're in quicksand, it's going to become, it'll become more liquid and you'll sink faster. And that's what I want to do with this, is get the, the concrete to be more liquid and go into every one of those little holes and really grab onto the lath. Alright, there we go. And again, I want to leave it, I want to leave it rough like that because I'm going to be coming back later and doing a, a finish pass all over this later. So that's it, I've uh, got about, uh, well this is 15 feet or so, so 15 feet with the first half bag, so I, I, I guess I get about 30 feet out of, out of each bag, so it'll be, I guess, two bags to get me all across this whole 60 foot front. That's it, thanks for watching.